Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about binary representation of integers. Normally, you have seen in previous video that in the uh, digital system does not understand uh, integer values, so it will convert into binary values, so it will understand what it is, what has been given. Okay. We have discussed about the conversions in previous videos. Uh, we discussed about the integer and the fractional numbers. Uh, only about the positive numbers. Suppose if the uh, integers are negative, how it has been represented in computer as binary values. So that is that is what you are going to see in this video. To represent integers, uh, computer use the fixed number of bits. So it will have some fixed number of bits. Say for example, 8 bit number, 16 bit number, 32 bit number, 64 bit number according to length of the uh, binary value. Suppose if it is a small value, say for example, uh, integer value uh, 8, uh, it has the binary value 1000, that is 1000, okay, that is the binary value for 8. Now if you want to convert it into an 8 bit number, what you do is you just add zeros in front, okay. So it will be converted. So if you have 8 digits, you call it as an 8 bit number. If you have 16 digits, you will call it as 16 bit number. That's it, nothing else. Okay. So other than that, you have two more uh, representation scheme. One is unsigned integers and signed integers. Unsigned integers means only positive values. Okay. If you don't have any sign, there is no negative, that is minus sign, you will have only positive values. Signed integers means you will have both uh, integers, that is. Uh, negative values and the positive values okay that is the sign will be there now you are going to see the first one is unsigned integers an unsigned integer can be either a positive integer or zero but never a negative now integer so if you are given an uh, integer if it does not have a, a minus sign then it is called as unsigned integers if it is an, a negative value with minus sign then it is not an unsigned integer right so an unsigned integer contains uh, containing n bits can have a value between 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. So this is a range. So what is this range? Say for example if you, if you take 8 bit number 0 to 2 to the power 8 is 256. So 256 minus 1 is 255. So 0 to 255 is the range. That is the meaning of uh, the uh, this range what is given here. Okay. Now you go on to the signed integers. Suppose if you have signed integers that can represent 0 positive integers as well as negative integers. So all is 3. Three representation schemes are available in signed integers. First one is signed magnitude representation. Second one is first uh, once complement representation. And uh, then the second, the third one is two's complement representation. So you are going to see all these three in this video. The most significant bit that is MSB is called as the signed bit. Say for example. Uh, if you give an 8-bit uh, number, you will have 8 digits, right? In that left-hand side corner, the last digit, that is from the right, if you take, it will be the last number. If you take from the left, it will be the first number, right? That is called as MSB. That you call it as this sign bit, okay? We will be discussing it. So, you will see uh, uh, what is that. First, we will go to sign magnitude. Integer are identified by their signs, that is plus or minus. So either it will be a positive number, so it represents with a plus sign. If it is a negative number, it will be uh, represented as minus. And a string or digits which represents the magnitude. That means you can see an example here. Plus 17 is a positive integer. Okay, and minus 14 is a negative integer. So it just represents the sign bit that is plus or minus and the magnitude is the rest of the numbers okay say for example uh, the msb of the is the sign bit okay zero represent positive number that means if a number binary number starts with the zero that is that msb is zero then you call it as a positive number okay you know by only adding the plus n and minus n but the computer doesn't know what is plus and minus it will identify whether the number is positive or negative only through this MSB sign bit. Okay, so zero. If the number starts with zero, the computer knows it is a positive number. If the number starts with one, then the uh, number is represented as negative number. Okay, the remaining n n minus one bits represent the magnitude of the integer. For example, I said about eight, and in front you will add uh, add up uh, four zeros. Suppose if it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, then it is a uh, positive value, that is plus 8. 
Suppose if you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, then you will call it as a negative. So if you don't understand, you will see an example here. Okay. For example, if, uh, uh, if in a computer the word size is 1, that is 1 byte means 8 bits, then plus 15 will be represented as follows. So 15, the binary value is 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So this is the binary value for 15. Now to convert it into 8 bit number, you will add up zeros in front. Okay, so you, will, you can see eight digits here. Now the left hand side, uh, the first first number you call it as MSB and the last number you call it as LSB, least significant bit. Now suppose if the first digit is zero, then uh, it is a positive number. Okay, so zero represents the plus sign that is positive number. Okay, so here you can see plus fifteen. Remaining seven digits will represent fifteen. The first digit that is MSB will be representing the positive. That is, if it is 0, it becomes, uh, it, the computer knows it is a positive number. Suppose you have minus 23, where you have the binary values 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay? And the remaining values will be uh, filling with zeros in front. Now the MSB is 1 here, okay? which represents it is a negative number. Okay? You have to put 1 so that will be, uh, it, the computer knows it is a negative number. Okay? So that's how this sign magnitude works. Okay. So with the values represent represented with the MSB. Sign bit is represented as the MSB. Okay. If it is a 16 bit number, you will have 15 bits as magnitude and the MSB that is one bit will be the sign bit. Okay, it goes on for all the uh, ranges. Okay. Now we will go to the second one that is once complement. It represents positive numbers by their binary equivalents and negative uh, numbers by their ones complement. So normally when you give when you are given uh, number, the uh, integer number, you will convert it into binary value. That is nothing but the uh, binary equivalent. Suppose if it is a negative number, you can use ones complement to convert it to, uh, that is to represent negative value. So for example, ones complement for, of the binary number, 1001. Zero, zero, one, is nothing but 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So when you see that you won't understand what it is, what you're going to do is, what, wherever you have 0, you convert it into 1 and 1 will be converted. That is just put an inverse value. So 0 will be inversed as 1 and 1 will be inversed as 0. So you can see, 1 is inversed as 0 here. 2 zeros are inversed as 1s and then uh, 1 is inversed as 0. So this will be the binary, that is, once complement of the binary number given. Same way another example is given 0, 0, 1, 1. That is a binary equivalent. Negative value is 1100. 0, 0. Okay, that is once complement of the binary number. Okay. Just convert zeros into ones and one into zeros. Right? So that's very simple. That's once complement. So you can see an, an example. Find the once complement form of minus 13. This may be the question given to you in exams. So minus 13 you have to find the ones complement. So what you have to do is first convert that is use a repeated division method and uh, get the binary value. So binary value is here that is 1 1 0 1 is the binary equivalent for 13 that is plus 13. Okay. To convert it into 8 bit number you have to add zeros in front. So 4 zeros is added in front so it, it becomes 8 bit number. Okay. After this you are going to make it as a negative number that is using ones complement. So it is very simple. You just convert zeros into ones. You can see first four zeros are converted into one, and then the remaining that is uh, one one is converted to zero, and then we got to a zero here will be converted into one, and then one is converted into zero. Right? Change all the ones into zero and change all zeros into one. That's it. So this is the ones complement equivalent for the binary number. So uh, positive number has been converted. Sign magnitude you can notice here first digit MSB, right? MSB is 0 for positive number and MSB is 1 for negative number, okay? Next is the uh, two's complement representation. Express, you already know one's complement, it is just similar to that, but only a slight difference here. So we are going to see that, okay? Express minus 4 in two's complement form, okay? So uh, first you are going to find the uh, binary equivalent for plus 4, that is 100, okay? 1, 0, 0 is the uh, binary equivalent for the integer value 4 add up 0 in front that will make it as a 8 bit number after that 
convert first you have to find for two's complement you have to find the ones complement first so you have to find the ones complement convert change all the ones into zeros and zeros into ones so you'll get like this okay one 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 zero one one okay this is what the ones complement for the binary equivalent four okay now to find two's complement add one to that that's it nothing else just add one to this so when you add one to this you will uh, will get one plus one is ten so it will carry over one year one plus one is ten and then you will carry over one so it will be one year then you have the remaining one so you will you will see an answer that is nothing but the two's complement for the value uh, that is plus four right two's complement is nothing but the minus value so you can see that msb is again it is one okay since it is a negative number so we understood the uh, binary representation of integers this is how the uh, negative values are represented in the digital system we will meet you in the next video till then thank you